M Toga 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 Hello and welcome to Billy Ho Sports. We're back for another week at the spa. We're going to cover the Jockey Club Gold Cup, uh, working on betting videos for several of the other undercard races as well, and that's what we're going to do today. We're going to deep dive a little more into the past performances and uh, get the post position draws and check out all that good stuff. Uh, put a bolo out on this same, very same video for the Del Mar uh, Pacific Classic that's coming up next, so be on the lookout. Uh, check out the latest preview videos for both these races, the Pacific Classic and the Jockey Club Gold Cup. And also, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. So much appreciated. Smash that like, leave me a comment, and let's go. Okay, really quick before we start, this is uh, BillyHoSports.com. It's just my new blog site for all things handicapping and just some recent posts. I just wanted to take you, give you a quick peek at it since I really haven't shown it to anybody yet. It's still a work in progress. It's fledgling. I just started it less than a week ago, but I do have a couple of articles up and out. And if you just go to BillyHoSports.com, the main site, you're going to see at the top of the page here, my, my articles on the past, like I this is, was last week's Travers, and now I got the Jockey Club Gold Cup and uh, the Pacific Classic Preview. So uh, if we just looked at, just clicked on this, you can also go down here and just click on the blog itself and it'll take you over to uh, the same listings and the, the blog site's going to have all this stuff up as well. So uh, just a quick look, we'll just click on this one. I'll show it to you real quick. The Jockey Club, Go Cup, this is just kind of a uh, preview. I, I've got the preview video up first thing. And then we take a look at uh, just some specs like the time, the post time coming up, where, what channel it's going to be on, FS2. Uh, and then just go through the contenders, late pick five, uh, all kinds of different things. Uh, so just a little intro article to get your uh, beak wet there a little bit. And uh, now we're going to get over to why we're all here. Race 11 at Saratoga is the Jockey Club Gold Cup. Million dollar purse, three years old and upward. Uh, so basically what it amounts to, out of about nine races at this distance over the meet, five front runners and four off the pace. So pretty evenly spread out. We're going to start with Proxy, Michael Stidham, Joel Rosario, probably the top dog, uh, I would say, six to five morning line odds, something in that range. I didn't have a chance to pick up morning line odds, so I apologize for that. But you'll know when you see that this horse is probably the best horse on paper in the race. Uh, versatile running style can go up front like he did at Monmouth in the last race, or you could just look back at Oakland when he ran uh, his better, uh, probably a better race in the grade two that he rolled from off the pace. So Stephen Foster didn't fare so well, but he had a lot of trip trouble in that one. Steady Eddie. So I'll forgive that one. So he's going to be right in line to, uh, to get the win here. And uh, I, I do believe this is probably one of those winning your in breeders cup type races. Uh, can't say for sure. I know the Pacific classic is, but I'm not hundred percent on this one. So anyway, uh, Proxy is going to be one of the top choices. Unbridled Bomber, uh, trained by James Ryerson, ridden by Dylan Davis. The It's just not quite there for me on this one. I'm probably going to pass. Has decent speed, but uh, a very poor Saratoga record. Uh, hasn't raced there uh, you know, in a while, actually, even before the past performances, I guess, probably 2021 or something. I believe I remember seeing a couple of races where it didn't fare very well on the surface. So I'm going to pass there. I'm passing on Warrior Johnny as well. Uh, Philip Bauer is a good trainer. Junior Alvarado is an excellent jockey. Uh, he's hot the last seven days, but the speed, you can see these 85, 91, 85, 92 uh, speed figures just aren't there. 
uh, and and the stakes experience not there, so I'll pass. Rattle and Roll is probably the second choice in everybody's books. Kenny McPeak trained Brian Hernandez riding, uh, just three straight one hundred and ones. Definitely uh, very close in speed to Proxy, kind of like a one and a one A if you listed them to. So uh, no no real experience on the Saratoga track. He had a, uh, did not finish a couple years ago, but uh, them him and Proxy both neither one of them uh, have any experience at the spa. So that's kind of interesting. But anyway, uh, he's going to really need to dig in uh, to have a closing effort to get it done against Proxy. But it it's not out of the realm. Uh, the next up is another. Uh, I guess uh, I guess you could call a contender slash exotics use Clapton trained by Chad Summers recently uh will have Irad or Ortiz meet leading uh top jock Irad Ortiz which is a huge plus uh, the highest last race number in the suburban is the second place 104 and I've watched it many times just wasn't any match for charge it but was well above the the rest of the field as far as the best of the rest it wasn't a really big field though um sharp workout the the speed is there i think if he if he can maintain this one uh mid 104 or mid 100s i guess and even maybe move up i don't know but uh chad summers is a is a newly acquired trainer this horse was purchased by rrr racing and uh, so he's going to be the trainer, and he's 0 for 10 in stakes races graded. So that's not great to hear. But I think this one has a chance. I think the the plus money here where you got like he's 56 days, he's plus money in EV value and the first start with the trainer in both of these. So, you know, kind of like the fourth or fifth choice, like it says in the prime power, no problem there. Uh, Tyson, get me some Tyson. Uh, so, uh, this is one of two Woodbine shippers from trainer Josie Carroll. And, uh, this one is the more interesting one of the two. I'm going to kind of couple them together, even though they're not, but this is Tyson. And then the next one up is the Duke, Duke, Duke of love. I love saying that, but that's Josie Carroll as well. That's going to have Luis Contreras, uh, this one actually is the one I want to start with because it made the jump from 87 to 100 going from the synthetic woodbine surface to a uh, comparable uh, a comparable dirt surface in Mountaineer. Uh, slightly off, it wasn't a fast track, but one looking good, stalked the pace, rallied far, turn, and dual dug in coming home, which is very nice to see. Uh, but it was the West Virginia Governor's Grade Three, so little tall order coming here. But this uh, win at the Grade Two Seagram Cup at Woodbine was solid, running a 94. So if he makes a similar jump, as what I'm trying to extrapolate here, where he jumps eight to ten spots, you're talking a 102, 104 type of speed rating, and that's going to put him in the mix. So I'm definitely going to be looking closely at Tyson. Uh, Duke of Love, I think, is going to be kind of like a first out sort of thing. Uh, but we'll finish it off with Bright Future. Todd Pletcher slips in behind everybody with uh, Javier Castellano. Uh, not having a super great meet out at Saratoga, but the Kentucky Derby winning jock. The dude rides big time horses. I mean, you know, you just can't uh, get it get it wrong there. So you got the combination of these two, which is I think going to be very attractive at the betting windows. Uh, but I just I don't know if it's there yet. This is an optional claimer where he ran a hundred uh, at Saratoga, which is nice. But the Brooklyn Grade Two was the first four four A into graded stakes and and did not fare had, had to ease him up. It was a, a complete toss. Got tired, but it was a mile and a half. So that's why I'm wondering if that's just a, a complete throwaway. Uh, a run seems to run better at a mile, definitely. Uh, so the mile and a quarter, I'm still suspect on the distance on that. But it was he did draw clear at a mile and an eighth. So 
it's kind of like, what do you want to do with them? Uh, and the odds will dictate if, if there's some value to be had, I, I will probably be looking into it. But the two best values I have are Tyson and Clapton. And then you have proxy and rattle and roll. So, you know, uh, taking you over to the uh, gambling calculator. And uh, let's see, I think this is a 10 cent super where I went uh, just kind of crazy here a little bit just to do something different. And I believe it's going to be the one, four and six, which is uh, proxy rattle and roll and Tyson on top. And then just kind of spreading it out a little bit from there, you know, adding in Clapton, adding in uh, the eight horse, bright future. Uh, I think that it could, Todd Pletcher could get him there for, for a place definitely. And then spreading a little more and then going all down underneath for an $18, uh, 10 cent super, give it a shot, see what happens. Uh, I would probably maybe just box the three. Maybe I'll just box the one, four, six in an exacta and, and hope for the best value there because I do think it's a two horse race ultimately, but the, the horse Tyson does, uh, in fact, intrigue me. So we'll have to see what happens. And uh, so the next video coming up is going to be that Del Mar Pacific Classic. I'll do the, about the same thing here. We'll show you a little website, show you some past performances, and maybe come up with some kind of bet. And so until the next video, see you soon. Thank you for watching.